All right, the purpose of this video is to go over uh, application problems for exponential growth. We've already looked at what an exponential growth graph looks like. Now let's see how that applies in the real world. Um, so there's a general structure to a formula that goes along with exponential growth. Um, so the letters may be different from one textbook to the next, but this is the general structure, and these are all the different components that go along. Uh, with that structure. So A is your output or your new amount at the end of all the process. The P in this equation is your initial amount. They call it the principal amount and a lot of times especially when you're dealing with money. Um, the R is your rate of growth. So percentage of change uh, will be usually expressed in the question or problem as a percentage and then you need to convert it to a decimal place. Remember the easiest way to do that is just move your decimal two spots to the left from the original way it's presented. Um, time for now will be uh, in years unless it's otherwise stated. Um, and then this expression here is what makes this a growth instead of a decay or something else. This one plus your rate, uh, since that number will be bigger than one, that's what's gonna cause the exponential growth. Okay, and like I said, um, other textbooks often might have a different uh, variable in for A or for P. Um, but we want to be able to um, recognize the structure more than anything. So um, key vocabulary terms you'll want to look at uh, with this stuff are growth, appreciation, meaning it's, it's getting larger, or increase. That'll indicate that it's a growth problem and not a decay. So that won't be that big of a deal for now, but later on uh, we'll see that come up. Okay, so uh, an example that's provided for you here. So Jim invests five thousand dollars into a bank account that earns um, an annual rate of two percent. So annual being every year. Um, typically bank accounts now are much lower than that when they're a savings account, but this is a simple example here. So P is going to be your initial amount of five thousand. Your rate two percent is converted to um, 0.02 and that uh, growth factor there is one plus your rate okay and you don't want to write it with the plus sign in your equation you want to simplify it down to just that single number 1.02 okay so this would be your um, exponential growth equation for Jim's investment okay and so a lot of times they'll have you write the equation to start and then test it out for different years so the follow-up question for that is you know find the balance in his account after six years, uh, usually the money we round to two decimal places uh, to be accurate, okay? Um, so all you have to do is plug in that exponent for this case and figure out the outcome there and round it to two decimal places. Uh, usually on your calculator, uh, they'll have this caret button. Um, that'll be on the option on one of the um, buttons in the top or they'll have another button for an exponent that you can use. But it's highly recommended that you type in the whole thing at once so that your calculator doesn't round it multiple times. Um, another follow-up is what is the y-intercept? Uh, we do want to remember that uh, at the y-intercept x is always zero so you can plug in zero there and if you're not sure you can type the whole thing into your calculator but we do know anything to the zero power is just one so it ends up being the the growth portion of the explanation uh, just becomes one and one times your initial amount is just your initial amount. So it makes sense that our initial amount is at our y-intercept. Okay, um, so there's just a lot of practice with that today. Uh, I'll go through one more example with you there, um, and then you'll try some on your own. So uh, a second example would be uh, population of Johnson City in 2005 was 25,000. Since the population has grown at an average rate of 3.2%, uh, write the equation. Um, for the population uh, of Johnson City since 2005. So again, you've got your A equals, you've got your initial amount, which was 25,000. We've got our one plus the rate, and then you simplify it to get rid of the, the um, plus sign, and then um, to the T power, okay? And remember, we convert that rate to a decimal place. And then it says, uh, part B, according to the equation, what is the population of Johnson City in 2015? Uh, now remember, in 2015, it's 10 years after we started this equation. So you would plug in T equals 10, not T equals 2015. That's a, a little mistake that sometimes people make, but be careful with that. Um, sorry about the beep there. 
Uh, so then it's just a matter of typing this whole thing into the calculator in one step. Since we're dealing with a population here, it makes sense to round to the nearest whole number. Um, if they don't give you specifics for um, rounding, just round for money, round to two decimal places, and for populations, round to the nearest whole number. Okay, sometimes they will um, give you a specific amount of rounding they want, but um, if not, just follow those basic rules. Okay, so that's exponential growth. You're going to practice that some more on your own. Thanks for watching.